guys, it's Jamie with Not Too Shabby. Welcome to our YouTube hop for our stamp and die of the month. So this month our cute little stamp is called I Pick You and it features these cute gnomes with strawberry hats on. So this is a hop, it's a hashtag driven hop. So if you click on the hashtag N2S Pick You, you'll see all the videos pop up in this hop. And what you'll do is you'll watch each one, comment, like, subscribe, and then come back to my Rafflecopter link in the description box and enter into the giveaway. One lucky hopper will win a $25 gift certificate to Not Too Shabby. This giveaway closes on April 14th and the winner will be announced on my YouTube community tab. Or you can come back to the Rafflecopter link and click it and it will show you who the winner was. So for today's video, I'm going to finish up this card here. I've already done the coloring, um, but first let's share the stamp and die. So we have a stamp and die club where you can purchase both, or if you just wanted to join the stamp of the month club, you can just get the stamp. So I've started coloring up the other image, so I'll be doing another card using this cute little guy here. We have a little sign where you can stamp the sentiments, and I've already stamped fresh strawberries on there. We have a little flower here, and I've stamped several out, so I will be placing those on my card. And then we've got this cute strawberries. We've got three in three different sizes. You can make a really cute strawberry scene. There we go, super, super cute. The sentiments read, I'll always pick you, fresh strawberries, and always be sweet. So for the die, I've included dies for all the images. For the sentiments, I've included this rectangle here, which, will, which all the sentiments will fit inside. So you can use that as a little um, banner on your card, or you can probably place it on top of the sign if you wanted. So let's finish up the background for this cute little card. I'm going to put the sentiment down here. I'm going to put the I'll always pick you. And then I think I wanna create a fence in the background. And we're gonna do that by using the sign. So I'm gonna stamp it out on both sides and then we'll create a ground and it's gonna kinda of look like a fence in the background. I'll probably stamp some more strawberries on the ground, maybe, um, do a little distress ink for the sky, just a hint of blue. So to create that fence behind the gnome, you're gonna wanna create a mask. Now I've just stamped it out on some post-it note and I did um, put some, some glue on the back. I used this two-way glue. It's permanent glue, but it's also temporary. So if you apply it light and use it um, after it's dry, it becomes temporary. So I'm just gonna add the little um, mask on top. And then I'm going to stamp the sign out. I want the fence to be a little bit higher. So he looks like he's in front of the fence. So I'm gonna move my little sign up here. And I'm going to cut the panel down. So some of this will get cut off. So I'm gonna stamp some of the strawberries behind the fence. So I put my mask on there first. So I'm just gonna do the smallest strawberry. So this is gonna look like it's behind the fence once I take the mask off. So if you'd like to sign up for the Stamp of the Month Club, you get an 18% off. You'll have to choose monthly when you check out. So it's gonna ask you the, your frequency and then you choose monthly and then you will get the 18% off and your stamp or stamp and die set will ship out every 30 days from, the, from your date of purchase. So every month it'll be a different set. You can also purchase these 
um, individually without signing up for the club. You just won't get the discount. I'm not sure if I want to do a bunch of strawberries or just a few. So what I'm going to do is take this mask off and I'm going to put it on the other side. Now I can either draw in the background with my Copics for some color on the sky and the ground, or I can use my Distress inks and do some ink blending. So I think I'm gonna do the grass with the Copic markers, and then maybe do a little halo around the sky in blue so it looks like there is a sky. So I'm gonna to wanna to do that first. I'm gonna just grab one of my colors for a sky and do one side and then the other side. I did make some masks for strawberry so I might want to put that right here and I want this to be really soft so I'm just going to get out my big my big brush here and then I'm going to ink off on a scratch piece of paper and I'm just going to do a light dusting and then I'm going to switch my mask over to the other side and just a light dusting and that was salvage patina that I used okay so let's um, do the reveal here and take off the masks. I think I'll save those for another project. Okay, so now I'm going to do some Copic coloring for the ground. Okay, let's color up our strawberries. I like to use um, a really dark red mixed with my color combo. So I was using R39, let's see, R46, R27, and I think I was using R14. I kind of messed up on this one here. I should have um, masked it the other way, or I should have brought the the strawberry up higher um, so it would look like it's behind this post. So since I put it down too far, it, too far it kind of looks like the post is on top of the strawberry smashing it. <laughs> Hopefully, no one will really notice that. So I'm just working from darkest to lightest. I'm going to color the um, fence in brown. So I just got out some browns. I have an E77, E74, and E71. 
And I'm just gonna make some faux wood grain on this. So I'm gonna make some lines, some wiggly lines, and then I'm going to make some little circle things. And it's just going to mimic wood. So that's kind of fun to do. And then I'm gonna make a rounded top. And then I'm just gonna go down to my mid color here, E74, and just go over what I did. Keeping it really loose. Now my E71. And this is where I'm gonna start filling in. And I do have an E70, so maybe I will use that one for my lightest. So I'm still gonna leave some white space here. Just blend out some of these lines here. So I'm taking my E70 for my last color, <clears throat> and I'm just gonna fill in the rest. So there's my little scene. I'm gonna stamp my sentiment down here. I'm gonna use Versafine, Claire, and Nocturne for my sentiments. That is my go-to ink for sentiments. I'm gonna mat this on a white card base and I'm gonna decorate the back. I'm going to put this beautiful strawberry paper pad right on the back and then I'm going to put a strip on the inside of the card that was from our so refreshing paper pad from our box of the month. I've added this beautiful paper to the back of the card and then I'm just going to add the strip that was left over to the inside of the card and I really like how it looks when you decorate the inside. I really need to do that a lot more. I mean it's not hard just take the scraps from your project and put them on the inside, right? Okay, so I have the front all cute and then the inside and the back. Now to fix my mistake here, I'm just, I just cut out a strawberry and I'm just gonna glue that right on top. So now it looks like the strawberry's in front of the fence like I wanted. And there we go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this project. Um, don't forget to leave a comment and then go back to the Rafflecopter link to enter into the giveaway and hop on over to the next person and I will catch you real soon in the next video guys. All the links are in the description box. Take care. Bye guys.